Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. It is meant for you, as a proficient user with the HyperWorks Legacy interface, to get efficiently introduced to the new user experience of HyperMesh 2023.0. This is video 3 of 6, Introducing to Browsers in Basic Handling, Filtering and Preferences. The model browser is now an integration of the former model browser with the solver browser and the mask browser. You find entities listed by solver keyword, like elements or properties. Geometry is distinguished by points, lines, surfaces, and solids. Right-click on such categories and select to show, hide, or isolate them. Mask and solver browser are currently still available also, under view. Double-click on a category, or select it, then right-click and choose Open, to show it in a separate browser, listing all respective entities, including additional information in respective columns. These columns categories are offered as predefined filters in the header of the browser, along with operators and the list of available values. You can build Boolean operations and will find previously used expressions in the history of the filter. In the component browser, unfold for example the property, then the material, and use add column to add the Young's modulus to the browser table. Now the Young's modulus is available also as filter criterion. Predefined filtering capabilities exist for the displayed, the selected entities, and the current collector. Current collectors are also displayed bottom right. Right-click to select which collector types should be shown. Preferences allow to select the color of the current collector to be displayed, instead of the symbol. Configure Browser allows to turn on listing of entities also in the model browser. Displayed count and close entity views are further options of interest. This concludes the third of the six videos of the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. The next video is about tools like Find, Distance and Translate, and about vector and plane definition. Thanks for watching.